Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. Happy 20th of December, everybody. I'm excited to do this one. This, I think, is my favourite, though it does keep changing as we go along, as we do each one. It sort of changes. Uh, but yeah, we have day 20. So I have a pen from July of 2022 and a tray from August of 2022 for today's and it is caffeine or at least I see it as caffeine caffeine and cookies so let's zoom in and we can get started I think that's I can curl that up a little bit actually, get it up a little bit further. Where my matching cardigan? Again, today it's nowhere near as cold today, though it's still chilly. So I'm pulling up the comments. It just takes me a little bit <laughs> to get to the oldest of the comments or to the bottom. But we get another side to complete today. Oh, I do have one uh, to start off. My first comment is, is one that unfortunately got put into my spam um, or YouTube. Is this, is this a real comment type thing? And I have no idea why, because it doesn't like to actually filter out the real spam. I end up spotting them coming through on emails and having to go through and, and report them. Um, so this was from quite a few days ago, but it was Sarah B. She says, thank you so much for showing us the size difference between the two pouches. So this is back from December the 8th, unfortunately. Uh, she said she was grateful that you managed to see my comment via email um, because she was sure it wouldn't come up in time. Uh, she enjoyed today's video as always and she was especially what was um, especially amused watching your extra diamonds hop 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 around your trashy tray uh, she said it was assume assume it was due to the fact that you had a new glue dot in your pen and it was so sticky she said thanks always for a wonderful video and look forward to tomorrow's well thank you sarah and i'm glad the comparison between the two pouches was helpful i think my glue dot is not very sticky in this pen where why is it i can never find my tweezers when i want them here we go Let's see if I can get, I'm going to do the whole take the glue dot out and put it back in, in the first instance, because I often find that will rejuvenate a glue dot enough. Try that before I put in a super, super sticky one. Uh, then we are back up to sort of more recent, though we are still working on comments from the 15th. I think the comments are far exceeding how many I can get through. Uh, but Kay says, hi Rebecca. She says she was watching yesterday's and today's Whip and Waffle this afternoon. She said she had a busy baking day yesterday. Um, each year, she said, instead of buying presents for the grown-ups in their family, they make a Christmas treat box for each of them. Uh, yesterday's bakes were ginger cupcakes, uh, spice ginger fudge, ooh, candy cane, brownies and white chocolate bark. She said it looked so festive, um, topped with candy canes, Christmas chocks and sprinkles. Uh, she says just a batch of vanilla cupcakes with some Christmas pudding, giant cookies to make tomorrow, and then she can deliver them all on Sunday. Sounds a very good idea. I've actually done couples gifts this year. We did pop um, a chat on sort of the family group to say, what are we doing this year? And somebody had already purchased for people. So um, 
yeah we did we've we've done couples gifts this year um but i'll have to let you know what they are in the future because it may be seen or heard um she says she's finished her special slash partial diamond painting today which is a beautiful christmas tree mannequin uh, and she's loving how quick they are to do she says thankfully she has a few in her stash to take her through to the big day yeah i do like doing a special diamond painting every now and then i actually haven't grabbed one at the moment but I have finished my mystery kit. I finished that last night because I want to try and get that as a de-kitted and kitting up video for while I'm away. So de-kit my mystery and kit up another 30 by 40 provided time allows. So yeah, I actually had no, I didn't have a big diamond painting kitted up because I've still not had a chance to do that video yet. I've had to prioritise some other things. And yeah, I have no 30 by 40 left because I finished it yesterday evening, but I finished it by about half past seven. Um, so I did pull out one of my paint gem minis and I did one of those instead. I also did one this morning. Um, I know I could have pulled out my heaven and earth design, but I think I'm going to get that out and sort of leave it out come my return in January. But I really enjoyed doing the paint gem minis. It's been a while since I've done one. So I did a couple of those. I'm hoping that I can get kitted up my large painting at some point today. I'm not sure when, uh, because that will give me something to do this evening. I can make a start on it, though it will have to be paused while I go away. But yeah, that's where I'm up to. Get in some of this little bit of grey around my coffee cup. It's got quite a few different colours in this one, so it might take a little bit longer than some of the others. I've definitely revamped my glue dot, which is good. Okay, I've got all of them. Wasn't sure if I'd got them all then. <coughs> oh, we have, do we have two? Yeah, we do. We have two different ABs in this one. But let's do my other grey first. Uh, Liz, she said she managed to do it again. She did it again. She said she finished before me. Uh, she said she could have done with the 24-day advent. She said, uh, um, and day one at a point as she knocked a load of drills over. She said she didn't stop the video. She just picked them up. Uh, she's loving the 12 days of advent. She says no feeling of what the bags are each day. So it is a complete surprise to her. Uh, but she couldn't resist today. She did add a couple of black square drills in her snowman for eyes. Uh, she took the rounds off um, she'd just placed <laughs> and popped squares in instead. So you have a few little squares hiding in your advent too. Um, and she's even added a few white crystals drills in the snowman to make him extra sparkly awesome so that was dancing snowman on the 16th uh, for Liz he has square eyes maybe he's been watching too much tv through the window <coughs> Susan Suzanne sorry she says hi Rebecca she says she's new to diamond painting uh, and she did a couple of small cards first from Hobbycraft. She said then she got overcommitted to an elephant uh, and the dream. She says, and it's squares, but she's nearly finished it. Uh, she says she's so excited and ready for the next one. Um, but she says she's learned so much from me and has watched all the tips of videos. Uh, she said her main problem is spaces between the squares. 
she says she does the steps the step method she says but she does prefer the checkerboard she said but it's a learning curve and I'll keep going both methods do work really well um, and that's why there's a couple because some are much preferred um, by different people for different reasons sometimes the checkerboard does work better depending on the drills if you find that they are drills that do have a little bit of a gap then the checkerboard can work better than the steps. The steps works really well when you have nice square drills that fit into each other nicely um, and you can do them snug when they don't have as many gaps. That's when I find the step method works really well. Um, but yeah, sometimes I change it up and do the um, checkerboard method just for a change from doing the um, square one or the steps all the time. Sorry, I forgot what I was saying half the time then. Words de decided to elude me. Right, let me get my next one before I read the next bit and then maybe I can actually concentrate. <laughs> it's getting warmer as well. Um, Lady Dax has replied to her and said, thank you for, uh, welcome to the hobby. She says, and this is a fantastic community. Um, she says, would re really recommend joining the Facebook group too. She says, we're a friendly and supportive bunch in there also. Yes, we are definitely a very friendly and supportive bunch in the Facebook group. Um, so it can really help as well if you've got a question that needs answering quickly. There's normally somebody there in some time zone uh, who's more than happy to help if the rest of us are sleeping at the time. Uh, I do want to say as well thank you so much to Lady Dax, Paulette and P Jelly for a Christmas card that arrived for me this or well, me and hobby this morning. Uh, that was a very nice surprise and it had a couple of little diamond painted Christmas ornaments which Karis has adorned the tree with this morning already because I am filming this one on the day. Uh, yesterday Karis had a nice birthday. She was she turned 24. Um, so yeah a little uh, definitely more of an adult birthday. She had a nice relaxing day. She knit well she knit to Chester uh, with her sister and her friend, mainly to drop off some library books that she had taken out for her masters that she's doing. Uh, and she's doing it remote so she can do it in Australia. So mainly it was to drop those off, but they also did have a walk around Chester's Christmas markets as well. Made a little bit of an event of it. So she had a lovely day and she's currently snuggling with the dog on on the couch while I film this but uh, yeah excited to do a day 20 I think it's my favorite uh, but as I say that changes all the time um, Darcy Darcy says okay she said it's official uh, she's found out that she can't do an advent she said her painting is almost done. Uh, day 24 and day 25 are the only spots that she hasn't completed. And this was posted on the 16th of December. So she may have been completely done. Uh, she says she'll guess she'll just have to watch them instead of trying to do one again. Sounds like you need two exciting projects on the go, Darcy. One that is an advent um, and another exciting project that you can move on to afterwards. Uh, but it needs to be equally exciting so that you can, you're excited to move on to it once you've finished the first day's section. And then you can diamond paint your heart away on a second one instead. Maybe that's the best way um, to, to help you do an advent that or just get a really really large painting 
um, so you've got nice big fat sections to do each day. Uh, Beck said, lovely chat today. She said, the snowman makes a smile. Uh, she said she had worked a couple of days ahead to keep up due to surgery, but she's got home and she's zoomed through to day 19. <laughs> Uh, this is her first square painting, she said, other than paint gem. Um, and you can see how she's improved from day one until now. She said she went back and used her straightener so that it wasn't as obvious. Uh, she said she's now home recovering for a couple of months and she has about 25 kits waiting for her. Well, I'm glad you have the stash to keep you occupied, Becky. Uh, she said she loves this group and she can't wait to see what we get to do next year. Uh, neither can I. <laughs> it's not that much planned so far. Uh, Darcy uh, has also said, she says she has noticed that some people who are around school age children, she said, are prone to getting whatever is around the school. She says since she has, uh, since she doesn't have any school aged children, she said she hasn't gotten sick. Yes, they definitely are little, little germ carriers, germ spreaders, our children. Uh, I think it's helped to build up my eldest immune system, that's for sure. Uh, though she does tend to bring home quite a bit with working in schools compared to you know maybe somebody who doesn't however my husband is also in and out of um care homes hospitals and all that sort of stuff as well so who knows which one of them we blame for any illness that we get but at least we have two people to blame uh cat lady says she was using a glue dot today again today she said and she was hoping it had lost a bit of its sticky she said no such luck she thinks she ended up with more fluff on it than her jumper she said she got it all done eventually and she even added some extra abs uh, I know a few people do have sort of a second pen for ABs, whether it be similar to the pen I've used for ABs or whether it be um, another pen that they just maybe keep waxing or a very primed glue dot, like a glue dot that doesn't seem to want to work for normal diamonds anymore. I have quite a few of these blue ones floating around on my canvas. And without looking back, I'm not actually sure whether they jumped out of my tray when I shook it, if I shook it too hard, or if they fell off my pen at some point and I've not realised. Who knows? Try and use my hand while I am straightening up these last few diamonds. Try not to miss these little bits in between. <coughs> Uh, Melissa, she says, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. She says, love, love, love. She said, can you guess what she opened on her 12 day advent? She said, yes, day eight. She said, thank you very much. She said she might have got just a little bit excited. Uh, she said the dancing snowman looks good, uh, but she still not picked her favourites out of all of them. I think we should all be allowed about 25 favourites. <laughs> and that, that will then settle it. We can all have 25 favourites. Uh, Jess says whenever she ref references uh, my method of spare storage, uh, she calls it Rebecca's system from 4Kids at 147. That works too. That will still find me if they do search on YouTube for any reason. Uh, she says while she doesn't use the photo boxes anymore, she said she still calls it my system. Uh, because the concept is the same. 
um, she said she put it on steroids so to speak she found an 11 drawer uh, piece of furniture when she set up she set it up with um, my system but in a bigger format she says she uses three by five inch cards and baggies so she doesn't have to worry about running out of space too often she said she can't thank us enough for the spares ideas uh, she says once she puts this put the system in place she doesn't have to stress about de-kitting anymore awesome that's what i love about the system i know a lot of people use photo boxes and that's what i use um, but you can adapt pretty much any box or in your case Jess drawers to work uh, Jackie did ask if she was in the Facebook group um, and to post a picture and I can say that I have seen them so Jess has put some pictures in the Facebook group of her drawer unit that she uses so rather than it being a photo box it's a drawer with the dividers and the little sections so depending on what sort of space you have you can adapt the system to work for you with the idea of the cards and the baggies uh, Kaz says she managed to upload her day 16 this evening she said thank goodness and um, she also says thank you i think this is in relation to her new job uh, she does have many ideas uh, that she can put in place to make discharges smoother and easier it's always good when you have you know ways to improve a system uh, and make it better i think i've mentioned in a in a video before i love the you know sort of ideal organization solution um, makes me happy when it works and it's effective and yeah nothing better uh, sherry says she loves today's a funky little snowman she said she smiled the whole time yeah the dancing snowman is absolutely adorable uh, well, I think he's dancing. Maybe he's shouting at somebody. Who knows? We're going for dancing because it's Christmas time. Uh, Susan said, wow, she says day 14 was a quick one. She said she did finish before me, but just barely. Uh, she says, and keep in mind that she uses a five placer and she paints through the adverts so you were very quick she says when you don't have to change colors yeah the mystery painting i actually finished the last two sections i think quicker than i'd finished one of the sections on the bottom of the painting because i didn't have to change colors anywhere near as often um she says she's finding it fascinating how competitive um, she seems to be with this painting. She said it's cracking me up. <laughs> I love it. It's one of those little little benefits of doing the same painting, isn't it? It's a little little mini, you know, all fun competition. She says here in San Diego, she says we've had a few colder days and lots of rain. She says, but all next week, uh, it's supposed to be the mid 70s uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, so Santa will definitely be surfing leading up to Christmas. She said, congratulations on hitting 16,000 subscribers. She said, it makes my heart happy to know you're doing so well with your channel and business. She says, thank you for sharing. Oh, thank you, Susan. Um, it's your guy's support that makes it possible um, and it makes me so happy and I get to put different ideas into place I actually have quite a few I'll have to see if how many I can put into place and how I can organize it to you to do it most efficiently I think uh, diet Diana 
I, I don't know that is the name I always say wrong every single time. Um, <clears throat> she said she saw my unboxing on the Aura Loa painting, which is on my second channel. I have an unboxing of Raining in Paris. She said it's a really nice painting. Uh, she says she also saw a different painting on another channel. She said so she was inspired to take a peek on their website. She said, and as it happened, they had a buy one, get one 50% off. Uh, so she took the plunge and picked up two smaller kits, she said, to give them a go. I'm just using up the last of my diamonds before I tip more in. Um, she said, sadly, though, when she did receive them, she said one of... Um, one of the paintings was missing four colours entirely. She said all of them were the ABs that were supposed to be in the painting. She says she's contacted them um, and hopes they'll make it right. She said it's her first purchase from them. So the service, she said, will determine if she purchases again. She said she's perfectly fine with mistakes happening. She said, after all, we're all human. Uh, but it's how it's handled, she said, will make or break it for her. Fingers crossed, she said, that this will be a positive experience. She also said, P.S. She said, the postal strike is killing me. Oh, yes, it's definitely impacting most of us now. And it's very hit and miss as to what will be late. Um, I've had some things that are posted and received next day and then I have other things that have been in the postal system for a couple of weeks and don't seem to want to come out. Uh, they're not lost because they are turning up eventually but I don't think there's a first in first out policy going on at the moment. Uh, she says she did make a purchase from me uh, a while ago uh, but she still doesn't have it. She says thankfully though she does have her 12-day advent, um, so she can console herself with a gift a day. Well, hopefully it will turn up soon for you. Um, as I say, it seems very hit and miss as to what is going to get stuck and when. It's like if they get behind on a certain day, they go, oh, we'll deal with that when we've cleared the backlog. And then all of a sudden, three weeks later, they're like, oh, yeah, we need to do deal with that. I don't know what's going on. I just hope they fix it for them all soon um, and come to some agreement. Uh, Susan's catching up. She says day 15 is done and dusted. She said she's nearly caught up. She says it will be fun to finally be on the same day as you again. She says she absolutely loved a zesty wolf when you did him. She said she did go back and forth uh, about buying him for the advent uh, but the reason she didn't is she literally has seven wolf paintings. She said three of which are just the head. So she passed on buying him last year. She said she felt so left out oh, um, and really wanted to do a Diamond Art Studio UK painting. Uh, she said that she wouldn't have cared what the painting was this year. She was buying it. <laughs> uh, she said, turned out that she loves it. She says she's so happy that she didn't miss out and thank you so much for sharing. Oh, I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Um, it's very hard to cater to, well, you're never going to cater to everybody's needs and desires. Um, but I'm so happy that it seems to have hit the mark with many. Uh, and I haven't seen an advent calendar painting before, so... I'm sure there will be more in years to come because diamond painting is still growing and there's still ideas coming out here, there and everywhere for it. As we know with the likes of the mini paintings, um, you know, I think the reason they went so well is the fact that they were a new idea. So hopefully there will be many choices in years to come. Uh, Lady Dax, she says, oh, she says, as you know, she says, I am one of the ones that doesn't use the stopper. She said she had another go with it the other day. She said, and she got drills everywhere. She said, she guess she has 
just had too long to get used to not having one. Well, maybe some of the trays in the clearance will be good for you then, Lady Dax. We do find uh, occasionally the printer decides to not stick so well in certain spots. Um, as because this this is what goes on the printer bed and sometimes we don't realize until the tray is nearly finished or is indeed finished and quite often if it's going to lift off the bed it lifts off at this end the tiny part or the smaller part um, so yeah we do have some trays where the stopper is the, the end is too small for a stopper it's perfectly fine for diamonds but it is a little bit misshapen some are worse than others uh, so we are we have decided rather than wasting uh, to put some of those in the clearance i was actually taking a lot of photos for them yesterday i tried to take photos of all the worst offenders um, of any sort of damage to them though the actual drill tray itself works um, so yeah maybe you can grab some bargains there but they're very limited so we'll have to see how crazy that launch goes especially when it is January the 13th for a launch Friday the 13th Amy said she's had a busy few days she said and she's had to catch up two times um, it's 12 midnight she says and she's finished getting up to date uh, she has no heating for 24 hours now she said if not longer and no hot water Oof. in the cold snap that's not good uh, she said so it's a good old-fashioned boil up water uh, and wash tonight uh, tomorrow yeah 24 hours you know you can, it's, it's one thing doing without it for a couple of hours isn't it but we've got so used to it that if it ends up being any longer than that it is not pretty Uh, Billy, she said it's the 16th uh, and she's now just completing day 14. Uh, she says she has been under the weather with a severe cold slash flu. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, she said she slept more in the last couple of days than she does in a week, uh, though her COVID test was negative. Yeah, I think flu seems to be up this year. Um, maybe because we're not all isolating out the way. Uh, she said, it's so nice to hear your voice and all the comments. She's so glad that Admore Zest is growing. Uh, she said, maybe add another room off the, gar off the conservatory. She said, less garden to upkeep. If it was easy, that would be something we would look into. Uh, but the conservatory is not easy to add a room to that. We basically need to take down the conservatory to add an extension instead, which would involve planning permission and everything. But I love my conservatory. I love it. Um, Stephanie, she says, hi, Rebecca. She said she had a thought while doing day 16. Uh, she said, I know that we can get notification, she said, about what's coming up into the shop by um, signing up to an email. She said, but would it be possible to get notifications by text? Um, unfortunately, text isn't something that we have set up. It's not part of our um, website commerce. And yeah, it's not something that's easy for us to set up in that front. Um, so sorry we can't do via text we we try to give you know the time and the time zone notice as soon as possible um, so that you can set an alarm on your phone to give you an alert um, and then the emails there for those that that like to be you know sent it via email as sort of a confirmation or a backup for if 
<coughs> you know, they hit snooze on their alarm or they forget the time. That's sort of the only real way that we can let people know as much as possible. But we are doing everything we can to increase stock levels, bar the clearance, of course. But we are trying to increase stock levels so that it can be, you know, if it is going to sell out quick, it's it's within a 24 hours quick rather than a, you know, two minutes quick. We're trying to make it so that people, you know, have a longer time to remember to go and get what they want. And we're constantly looking at things that we can have as an in stock, you know, a broadening the stock that you can just pick up whenever you're ready to. We're trying to broaden all of that as well so that we have more options for people for their accessory solutions for diamond painting. Oh, blue's so pretty. Um, Tammy, she said, as always, she said, great video. She said she had to admit she was a bit too relaxed while watching, she said, and she had a power nap. <laughs> She said, needless to say, she rewound it and started again. Well, you must have needed that power nap. Um, I'm not very good. See, I know power naps you can have like, you know, and, and a certain amount of time is great for a power nap. The problem is it can take me so long to actually drift off into sleep. Um that I can't set an alarm to make it a power nap time, time frame. Because if it is, a power nap does me wonders. But if it goes over, that's it. I am mucked up for the rest of the day. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I just need some way of setting an alarm when I, just as I fall asleep to have that prime amount of time. But so far, there's no invention for that. Uh, Susan, she says she loves the idea to make a frame. She says to move from day to day as we move through December. She said she made a couple um, of things that will work. She said she did use a blank canvas from Diamond Dots. I think I've seen these in the group, Susan. Um, and leftover gold drills, yes, I did see it in the group because it had gold drills on it, from Diamond Dots. Uh, sorry, leftover gold drills from Diamond Art Club Retro Santa, believe, that she had just finished. Uh, she also did one with yellow and orange crystals left over from a partial project. She says she's quite pleased with the results. Um, and she's fed, shared it on the Facebook group. She says, thanks again for this wonderful Christmas event, Rebecca, from Canada. Yeah, I did see the frame and I love the idea of doing a frame, um, especially because, you know, if you do it on a blank square canvas or a blank round canvas, depending on which diamond painting you have then you know it's going to be the right size and there's not as much measuring yes you have to count so you need to count the amount of diamonds across but you can basically do it the gray and highlight it that way so i think i might look at that in the new year or maybe it will be a just before next year's Christmas project, who knows? Um, depend on depend on jet lag. A lot of a lot of it. A lot of what I do next year will depend on jet lag. Uh, my mum did hear somebody did mention doing Christmas ornaments with theirs uh, and making ornaments for the tree. So my mum has said she would like us to look into that while I am there. So if we do manage to put that all together, then I will be sure to take some pictures so that I can show you all what that looks like. 
because my mum and dad did get rid of their tree and decorations a few years ago. Um, now they have decided to have a tree up, but they just have a tree with built-in lights. Um, but they don't want to don't want to rebuy all decorations again after getting rid of their first lot. So she thinks this will be a good idea to have these little mini paintings as de as uh, decorations. So we'll see how that goes. Should be fun to get some pictures. Should at least have the lighting because it's Australian summer. Uh, Stacy, she says hello. She says I am new to your channel and she's loving the advent calendar that I'm doing. She says since she is new, she did miss out on the chance to order it uh, and she would love to be able to do it next year. Uh, she says she was listening to your comments the other day. Um, about not knowing how many to produce. Uh, she says maybe if you had a pre-order option uh, that would help you know how many to get. She said just a thought. Uh, she absolutely loves the channel. She says thank you so much. Oh, thank you Stacey. Um, what I might do because there is and this is sort of a thought that's passed through my head over the last few days as, as all random thoughts do uh, what I might do is put up a listing for Zesty Wolf and a listing for Advent um, and let people sign up to the wait list that want to know when it's coming in because it may take a bit to you know it, it may be something that we don't get in for a few months a lot will depend on when suits Diamond Art Studio as well as when suits us. So it may be that Diamond Art Studio can get them sooner, but we're actually, due to other things we're releasing, we want it a little bit later. So maybe while I am, some of the work that I'm thinking of doing while I'm in Australia is around the website checking links i know there's a couple of links products aren't available anymore uh, there's a few links that need updating mainly in the likes of my favorites i also want to recheck my video links while i know they work i want to check that there's not more that i need to add things like that i'm i'm thinking i might have time to do we shall see so when i do those um, I may put up listings for them, but it will be more of a you can sign up to be emailed when they come in. And we can potentially use that email notification list to give us an idea of how many to get in. Uh, because we don't necessarily just have to do one lot of them. We could potentially do, you know, multiple lots. It just may give us an idea of how many to get in in the first instance. Uh, I wouldn't like to do a full pre-order and to take people's money when it's going to be a few months. Um, and that's when email notification can often work at its best to give people notification of them coming in. Uh, uh, Amy says she does see people uh, unbox some of the pre-made options of my system she says and she does tell them that it was my idea originally uh, she said one one person did say um, that if she'd realized that she wouldn't have got it from someone else uh, as she's all for the maker getting the credit and the money if, yeah, it's one of those. The system has been around for so lo well, so long now. What is it? Four or five years ago that I came up with it. Um, I think there are many that just don't know. They don't realise that there is somebody to credit with the idea. Even the likes of the glue dots, you know, the glue dots in the pens. I know I didn't come up with the idea, but I wouldn't have a clue if there was one specific person that did. Um, quite often ideas can just become you know, generally around so I, I don't blame many people for that um, 
as, as long as you know they're not using my products especially the likes of the free ones that we have available uh, and claiming them as their own when they're quite obviously from us then uh, it is what it is it is what it is right I'm getting out my AB pen which I always seem to open the wrong way uh, Sarah B she said okay she said you're Photo box storage will now always be the Admiral's S system. Uh, she said she really hopes it catches on uh, and drives more people to your wonderful community and shop. Uh, she said since you alluded it to it a bit during your waffle today, um, she said she would love to see you do a video um, once you're back from your trip about the items in your 12 and 24 day advent and what your thoughts behind each item were. Uh, she says it might be a bit of an ask, she said, since she knows that I wasn't able to keep a copy of the advent for myself um, and might not have a few of the items anymore. Uh, she said, but it was definitely a video she would be interested in. Thank you for considering. Yeah, I might. I, I do need to discuss it more once Advent is done. That's for sure. I don't know whether. I mean, there is some things that, of course, we had specific thoughts behind. Uh, maybe I'll discuss it when I'm trying to think. What's the best way? I'll have a think over the best way. Whether it's best when I dekit the Advent, maybe when I dekit this painting which I can't do before I go away. So it's probably going to be, you know, um, halfway through January by the time I get to do it. Um, maybe I, I discuss it then um, and either describe or maybe try and shove in pictures of Advent items to be able um so yeah, let you guys know what was in it in case you're thinking of potentially getting one next year. Though they will be different and we will be looking to making pretty much every item different in some way. It will give you an idea of the sort of things that we like to include. Right, day 20 was a lot quicker than I thought. I thought that would take a lot longer. I really did. Because of the amount of colours and bits in it, but it worked well. Where's 21? Up here for 21. And we're going to have two rows completely done before we move over to this side. I'm trying to have a look what is. Oh, it's a little gingerbread man. Uh, but yeah, my coffee is done. So I am going to go and take myself off make myself a coffee and edit this video ready to go up for you guys today. Uh, let's move my little trashy. Uh, this is in a, a blue colour that we will have available in January. It was out because I was taking photos so I might squeeze in a few more of the trashies that are due in January over the next few days just in case I need somewhere to pop some diamonds but thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon